right there is a great example of this unit right here. It's not a gun, it's not a knife, it's the torpedo. All right, it's heavy, it's pointed. It's a great way of protecting yourself. If you don't wanna carry a gun in your truck, maybe you're a soccer mom, maybe you've got kids, maybe you live in New York and you can't, all right? Have one of these. Not only are they fun to break stuff with, but it's a perfect way of being able to snap somebody's finger, break somebody's hand, or throw it. Let's jump out there with Lynn and get his thoughts and see some of his entertaining throws with him and Ashley Change. <laughs> So Ashley has never thrown a torpedo before. And I'm gonna give her some brief instruction how to throw it. She's so talented, I'm sure she'll pick it up right away. This is a two pound piece of steel. It tapers to a point in each end. And the long suit of the torpedo is that no matter how it lands, it has a huge effect. If it hits, land, it hits flat, it crushes and puts all kinds of impact damage on stuff. And obviously if it hits on the points, it pierces very deeply. It's very destructive to throw, and it's really hard on targets. Now what I normally do is, I take a stump or a big block of wood, I put another block of wood on it, or I take an old paint can that's full of sand, and I throw at that to save my wood targets, because it'll chew your wood target up in just minutes. So, I always throw this combatively. When I say combatively, I mean I want to hit the target with as much force as I can, and I don't care whether I hit it point first, or flat, or point first, it doesn't matter. I just wanna put all that impact on target. So we're gonna throw at seven yards. Now, according to lots of authorities, 90% of all gunfights occur within seven yards. So this is a good combative distance to throw. If you don't have access to a firearm, a torpedo could be a really powerful alternative. I've got to get enough slack here on my shoulder, on my shirt. So what I want you to do, Ashley, is you stand here, shoulders distance apart, and you line up your shoulder with the target that you're going to throw it. And you're right-handed, right? Yes. So I'm going to grip it right here at the bottom. I'm going to have a little bit of steel sticking out. I'm going to look at that target. I'm going to step forward and throw. I just hit the edge of it. Let's try another one. Where do you hit that one? Up and over. See, this is again the beauty of the torpedo. You're throwing into a crowd of adversaries. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing. It bounces into another, hits the the concrete of the asphalt bounces up, breaks a shin, sticks in a leg, knocks out some teeth, cracks a skull, it goes everywhere. So you can buy these concrete blocks at your box store for two to four dollars, and they're fun. You just gotta remember about the recoil of the torpedo bouncing off, and make sure you have glasses on, uh, protective glasses on to keep any little fragments out of your eyes but they're a pretty cheap target and they're a lot of fun to throw at. Yeah! Woo! You gotta hit it just right to break one, but they're a lot of fun to have visual fun and audible fun. The, the, the ting as it hits it, when you crack it, it's all fun. And it's a delight to throw. Try to keep your back foot on the ground. Okay. Awesome, good accuracy. Hey! Woo! Woo! Awesome, good job. Nice job, thank good you. Good job. Was that fun or what? <laughs> that was awesome. There's nothing like breaking one of those blocks. I've never done it before. That's the first. These things are tough as <laughs> So earlier, I was talking about how these things bounce and go all over the place. You can see that one of them bounced up and stuck in one of my um, archery bag targets like that and went in probably four inches. Um, that's the beauty about these torpedoes. Sometimes a miss is just as good as a hit. Yeah. Good job. Yes. Yes. That's what a torpedo does. 
you got to see Lynn and Ashley having some fun with this, whether it be watermelon or cinder blocks. Remember, these things can skip. You see, I'm wearing safety glasses. If you're gonna throw out a cinder block, be light on your feet. And the other thing you need to be is very cautious about flying debris. So always wear safety glasses with that, or just don't try it at home. But if you want a true self-defense unit, it's not a gun or a knife, check out the torpedo. You never know when you might have to protect your family member from a zombie. Check this out. <laughs> That's putting the smack down brother on him. That's right, if you wanna take a zombie out right past your brother-in-law, that's the way to do it. Be careful though, you don't knock his teeth out. Hey, I did say before, these things skip, okay? High carbon steel, they bounce, okay? They fly back. Be very careful. And also, always wear safety glasses. I'd almost recommend putting it lower so you throw down and it skips that way. As you can see, I had a little close encounter with one right here, but that's just in my bloodstream right there. That's in my DNA. To, hey, um, I'm gonna give away three of these and two Axe Gang hatchets. It's gonna be a great throwing package. Again, be careful with them. Um, I need you to like, share, comment, subscribe. And then I also need you to go to coldsteel.com. Go down to the bottom of the page, put in your email address. All right, that's gonna put you in the drawing. From Stick and Cold Steel, I'm gonna take this guy in for a little bit of clavicle and shoulder surgery. <laughs> See ya.